what is up y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel if you new if you not what's up what they do i'm here today bring out video on my school v state because i know it's about that time y'all need to decide where y'all going y'all really don't know where y'all want to go and if i'm being honest even before i was going to my school i was trying to look for videos and i did not see no videos i barely did if i did it was videos from like seven years ago no we need to update run it up <laughs> run it up so today i'm gonna give y'all pros and cons on my school if y'all decide to go and if y'all do see ya my list right here so we're gonna start with the pros or should we do cons or should we do pro con pro con i don't know that's how i said the pros to start for real for real everything in valdosta is close honestly you're really not gonna need a car freshman year so if you're worried about that don't worry about it you could literally walk to a little um a little lounge if it was a party you could literally walk to the gas station walk to dollar general anywhere you need to go you could really walk if you worry about that your freshman year everything is close literally 10 minute distance driving wise because no cap i really walked to the mall one day and if y'all down there you know i really walked there and it really wasn't that bad it was like 30 minutes but i was young freshman year i can't do that no more next thing is the classes the classes are really easy especially for my major let me not change myself it's wood so far my class has been easy the only classes that i really hear people complain about are the science classes and i'm not gonna count they are hard low-key i came in majoring in biology my freshman year and then i literally switched after first semester because that first class i already knew if this the first class imagine when it get junior senior year i knew it was not for me and a lot of people do be saying classes are especially the health science classes yo that's that might be a little you could do it you could all you could do anything you put your mind to but again you gotta put your mind to it you gotta know that you're not gonna be the one to not get distracted because it's a party or something going on on camp if you know you got it you got it but don't be trying to force yourself you know you ain't trying to get lost in the sauce okay uh the third pro is the campus activities it's a lot of stuff to do well it wasn't this past semester but when I was coming in my freshman year, I don't know if it's because of Big Rona, 2020, <laughs> but yeah, um, they had a lot of stuff to do on camp. They have a lot of inclusive activities. They have things like distress fest, you know, when it's around that time for um, finals and midterms. They do stuff like that, which is cool. They got a lot of um, groups and orgs out there that's like for everybody, like literally everybody and with that with the inclusive and being inclusion whatever word is our school is very diverse it might not look like it from the outside but trust me it's definitely diverse it's not a hbcu it's not a pwi it's a traditional school like, that's how i look at it it looks like high school to me not too much not too little like a perfect mix you can even go look that up and see the love the little graphics and it's gonna tell you like it's dang near 50 50 so if you're really worried about that outside of school depending on where you are i'm assuming you know you flock to where you belong so i can't really help you on that one but if you're worried about that like school wise you good bro you good another pro is the promo parties like the promo groups them I'm telling y'all, if they trying to lock y'all in, okay, if it's weird, no, because you know some people, you got to watch for that. But if not, do it. I recommend because, baby, we not paying $10, 15 $20 to get in parties, and we skipping the lines. Just make sure you do your promo, okay? You got to give to get. So I would say do that because I did it. I'm not paying for no parties, especially sometimes when the parties be a little dead. I'm not finna sit here and waste my food money on this. So no, we're not paying. Join them promo teams. Another pro is the safety. Our school, to me, compared to other things like other schools, it's fairly safe. When we go to parties, it don't be no fights for real. Hardly ever. We be enjoying the party until it's over at 2, 3 in the morning from when it starts at like 
10 11 there don't be no interruptions unless it's a complaint and the police coming when it comes to that they checking at doors all that i think that's all i pretty much got for the pros let's be honest the school is cool it's what you make it for real it's not bad but it's not all that you gotta get it how you live so let's go to the con okay for the first con like i was saying you gotta make it what it is it is it is boring especially if you coming from the city it's a different ball game totes different you're not finna walk outside seeing too much of anything it's not really many activities to do you gotta travel to florida for real go to albany that's one thing i don't like it's a dead city there's nothing going on there <laughs> uh and with that it's no food y'all it's no food option it's really none like i said especially if you coming from like atlanta bruh all that food open at 4 a.m all that you're not getting that in about also sorry if you haven't ate by seven o'clock you better hope you got some noodles in the back because you're gonna starve okay on camp we got chick-fil-a witch witch moles starbucks and einstein bros but never had wish with until, until i came to camp most no chick-fil-a is not the chick-fil-a that you gonna go to outside of school just to let you know i ain't gonna lie y'all need to invest in some food stamps because baby i didn't gain freshman 15 i lost weight i'm just put that there <laughs> To piggyback up on the safety, the only thing about it, like with the parties, okay, yeah, that's cool. But school-wise, I personally just don't like how it's a public campus. Like, anybody could walk on camp. I'm not saying, like, it be crazy, like, crazy folks. But like, it have been times I was walking in the Chick-fil-A and it was a man with a bike, no shirt, singing mad loud. It's kind of like, okay. And then it was one point in time, I don't know if y'all know, but if you know, them protesters, yeah some things like that just be like y'all need to get going put some gates around because what is this another thing is the parking okay this parking that's it that's number one con i just don't understand why is it not enough parking spots for on-campus students if you know it's heck of people staying on camp and you make it mandatory for your freshmen to stay on camp and freshmen could bring cars so it's kind of like come on you're definitely gonna be late to class i'm just gonna let you know you might get a ticket just gonna let you know and yeah i honestly feel like mm -mm. and then another thing with the parking is that you can't park on camp without getting a ticket until after seven and you can't really technically park overnight but you can, but your car needs to be moved by a certain time in the morning or you will get a ticket unless it's the weekend. And then when, if you see the campus compared to the parking deck and wherever you stay, that is not okay. Walking from the parking deck. They just added new lights over there cause it was so dark. That's the only thing I have with that. It's a lot of weird people in my house. Like I'm not going to count. <sighs> if you know, you know, if you don't, you broke. For real, not even from the whole time. <laughs> just to sum that all up it's just really to say that you can't be naive going out like you gotta understand that a lot of people did not grow up the same as you they don't think the same way as you so a lot of things is gonna be different from what you used to and i had to realize that to myself just make sure you know who to stay clear from who for you who's not for you all that because it is a lot of weird people and let me tell y'all them folks that be saying they bro and sis don't believe it don't believe it don't believe it so with that it's kind of hard making friends and like i swear to y'all about also is literally like high school like if y'all went to the high school i went to it reminds me exactly like that like, a lot of people already come in with their friends or they like they with their group and it's like i don't know like a lot of people out there are not friendly neither so yeah it's just it's definitely hard out there if you're not like an open person for real for real i mean they got orgs and stuff but yeah it's kind of hard because high school that's literally what it reminds me of y'all and when it comes to jobs out there in about also if you're looking to work let me tell y'all it's hard finding a job out there and actually a job that pays good 
just for the simple fact i think it's because valdosta is too small for the amount of people that is there it's a lot of college kids out there and it's not enough people to be hiring and it's paying at a good rate you know it's just hard finding work for real for real yeah what else do i have to say i think that's pretty much it with the cons you know you're gonna have your problems any and everywhere but they not major problems to dictate whether you should like you know it's just little stuff like the parking okay the jobs okay you're gonna have to sort that out you know they got on campus jobs and all that it's not much but it's better than nothing because we ain't trying to be broke out here and struggling and can't find nothing to eat after chick-fil-a clothes okay <laughs> so yeah some other things i wanted to talk about was the like the housing and stuff we have um, brown hopper georgia langdale patterson i think we got five housing oh and Sinton housing facilities on camp but oh passion brown lounge and i think langdale is all freshmen and then hopper in georgia is upperclassmen as well as Santin. Santin, let me start. Brown Patterson allows are traditional style dorms, which means you have your roommate in the same room. Y'all like neighbors. Y'all, you here, they there. Y'all got the community bathroom. That's with that. I'm honestly not going to lie. Y'all afraid about that? I don't know. I had a good experience in my dorm. I stayed in Patterson my freshman year and I had a good RA she made sure things was cool the bathroom was straight anytime it was a problem she got it fixed it was straight i didn't have no problems for real but it was like i had a friend who stayed on the first floor at patterson and it was just different it's like that you know so yeah at laos i honestly think that's gonna be a um regular traditional dorm co-ed uh it was um all girls during my freshman year but i haven't been over there since so i really don't know i also forgot to say with patterson boys and girls on separate halls like as soon as you walk in you have to split like it's no way you going that way or that way without somebody in the front seeing you um with lounge again i don't know if it's traditional co-ed now but at first it was all girls same old same old community style i actually like theirs because they got a little patio in the back for brown it wasn't open last semester because they was doing renovations so y'all got new restrooms it's community style but it's private it's a little cubby thing where you got the toilet and then you go in and it's the shower type zone so that's cool if you ask me that's co-ed as well upperclassmen it's the georgia and hopper and basically they're the same dorms to be honest if you ask me georgia just costs more it got more floors co-ed as well male and female y'all could be neighbors it's not like you go and split hopper that's the same way co-ed also come with private semi-private housing if you in a private what i had you only have one roommate and you share the bathroom but y'all and y'all little bubble it's like a mini apartment just without the kitchenette and a semi-private it's four of y'all so two to that room two to this room y'all all share that one bathroom in the same area you don't have to walk out for it but the only thing i have bad to say about that is the elevators are slow and again people just live different sometimes you might catch heck of trash in the stairwell it's crazy but it's nothing bad for real for real i also like hopper because it's more convenient compared to georgia like it's right there by the dining hall the student union the library classes literally langdale is also co-ed i do not believe y'all are on the same like your neighbors are not males it's a female hall and a male hall but langdale is set up so different like you walk in it's two different full sets of elevators all of that i've never really been in there besides like a couple of times but it is community style i also like they restroom as well from the girls perspective showers over here toilets over here you got mirrors sinks and all that with flowers like it's cute calm cool collective it's not bad and it's not all that for you know compared to what else you could have Sentin, those are the apartment styles um i've been in there just a few times hanging out with friends it's nothing too crazy you have your roommates it's for y'all. Y'all share a kitchenette. Y'all have a stove, fridge, cupboards. It's a good little thing for 
whatever but the only thing about it is that the only thing you're really close to is the wreck like you could work out every day but like you don't have a car you will have to catch the shuttle um or walk and that's not a little walk from camp because like, it's kind of like it's on camp off camp living you're not too far but you could do what you want to do but not too much don't do too much because you still have room checks don't do too much <laughs> so yeah i think that's pretty much it all i had to be honest the school is really not bad for real it's what you make it you know it, that's like the real world if you go out being friendly trying to make friends meet new people you might enjoy your time and if you come in secluded like oh you ain't finna do that much you will do but you might end up depressed i'm not gonna lie because like i said it's really nothing to do in valdosta unless you like you just know but it's really not you might have to travel some days just to have a little fun you might have to do a little extra with your friends to have a little fun but at the end of the day it's about your education and class wise it is easy peasy lemon squeezy take it from me these lists every semester okay 4.0 come on i'm going to my junior year criminal justice major so let me say i soon i think i'm gonna leave soon but yeah i had thoughts about me transferring because it would be so boring but then at the end of the day i don't want to transfer and then go to a school where i'm struggling with my classes because i'm worried about it being boring you know what i'm saying so if you need a friend, I'm here. If you see me with soap, with soap, okay? Join, join clubs, join orgs, get out there because that's what I'm trying to do now because I definitely see that boredom kicking in. So go out there, try to have fun. Not too much fun where you get caught up though. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for the pros and cons of this video. It really wasn't too much, but it was something to get y'all to just compare to what you would have known and what's broadcasted on the website because they be lying. I got catfish too. It ain't that colorful, so don't be believing it. Don't be believing it. And yeah, with all that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I'll be waiting for you to get high, get high.